Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the new WordPress 5.2. WordPress, if you don't know, is the most popular content management system in the world by far. In fact, 30% of the world's websites run on WordPress. Why do I mention this? Because WordPress is a huge opportunity for freelancers because so many small businesses right now run on WordPress, something like 80% and they're invested in WordPress, and a lot of these business owners don't know anything about WordPress. They've never used WordPress except the basic editor, so they need WordPress professionals to install and maintain, to add plugins, to update themes, etc., etc., etc. So the WordPress professional is somebody who provides those services, amongst others, to small business owners. I'm talking to potential freelancers or freelancers and yes WordPress professionals are not developers so they don't need to be experts in Vue.js or Node or anything like that but if you are a WordPress professional it's a good idea to know your HTML5, CSS3 of course if you know some PHP that's super valuable because WordPress is a PHP application so working with themes and so on will be easier if you know your PHP and a touch of JavaScript, just a hint, a hint of JavaScript. All right, let's, let's look at a couple of new features. So WordPress 5.2 just released recently. This is uh, one of my vlogs. I use WordPress, so I practice, I practice what I speak. I've actually created my own uh, content management system, but I decided just to use WordPress. You know, why deal with all the headaches of trying to create your own CMS for your own site. If you're not in the business of creating a CMS, why would you create a CMS? Anyhow, so WordPress, keeping your site safe. WordPress 5.2 gives you even more robust tools for identifying and fixing configuration issues in fatal errors. Fatal errors. This is especially good for people who are in uh, the business of maintaining WordPress sites. Whether you are a developer helping clients or you manage your own site solo, these tools can get you right. Get, can help you get the right information when you need it. So they got a site health check, uh, building on the features of we, that they introduced in WordPress 5.1. Uh, so site health check uh, releases two new pages to help debug common configuration issues. It also adds space where developers can include debugging information for site maintainers. You can check your site status and uh, well yeah anyway you, you got links here right inside of wordpress when you install the new version bing bing boom you can check that out php error detection another feature this administrator focused update will let you safely fix or manage fatal errors without requiring developer time it features better handling of so-called white screen of death and a way to enter recovery mode which pauses error causing plugins and themes see one of the roles of a wordpress professional is to understand the WordPress ecosystem, which is vast. That's one of WordPress's huge powers, that it's got a huge ecosystem of plugins. Plugins are just snippets of code or code modules, if you will, that uh, enable you to extend WordPress's functionality. People add abilities to create uh, private sections of WordPress, kind of community areas. You can use plugins to add in uh, shopping cart functionality, you can create your custom plugins, etc. And the other part of the WordPress community, of course, is the themes. There's tons of themes, which is a visual look of uh, WordPress, but also a lot of themes can come with a lot of functionality that takes your WordPress vlog, a blog rather, to a much higher level in terms of functionality. So you, as a WordPress professional, you have to understand the WordPress ecosystem you have to stand the plugins that are out there, the themes are out there, knowing which ones are good, which ones are not so good, which ones uh, your clients might use. That's part of it. So it's not so much coding, but it is understanding the development tools, the ecosystem, the plugins, themes that come with WordPress as part of your job. So yeah, it has a new ability to screen for errors. It says PHP error protection. Why? Because themes and plugins are all written, of course, in PHP. So there's also accessibility updates. A number of changes work together to help 
improve contextual awareness and keyboard navigation flow for those using screen readers and other assistive technologies. That's cool. New dashboard icons. 13 new icons. Instagram, including Instagram, a suite of icons for Buddy Press, rotating Earth icons for global inclusion. Anyway, just a little bit more uh, eye candy to uh, you know make it more of an interesting experience. With this version of, PH, of WordPress, you're going to need to bump up your version of PHP. The minimum supported PHP version is now 5.6.20 as of WordPress 5.2. Frankly, if you can, with your hosting, you should try to get your uh, PHP to 7 because PHP 7 is so much faster. Uh, they got a new body hook tag. This is for theme building, etc. Uh, allows you to inject code right at the beginning of the body element. If you do theme, any my theming course will teach you about uh, themes and what this really means. Privacy updates. Uh, so let's see. A new theme page template, a conditional function, two CSS classes makes design and customizing privacy policy page easier. So there you go. Building JavaScript. With the addition of Webpack and Babel configurations in the WordPress scripts package, developers won't have to worry about setting up complex build tools to write modern JavaScript. So simplifying, simplifying everything that you need in, uh, in terms of managing your WordPress. WordPress is a beast to deal with, meaning it's huge. And the WordPress community is massive, massive, massive. It's not going anywhere. Again, if you're looking at freelancing, WordPress it was a very, very lucrative option for you. Uh, if you look at some some videos people have published or commented about how they're making huge money supporting WordPress. So that's the key. Remember, I'll leave you with this freelancing tip. The best business is a business where you have many small clients, many small clients rather than one or two big clients. So imagine you have 20, 30, 40 small business clients and each give you a retainer fee, you know, 100 a month, 150, 200 a month, something like that. Besides doing just normal work, it starts to add up to be some pretty good money that's it's passive, right? Because retainers are just a flat fee that they give you so that they maintain a relationship with you so that, for instance, if you're managing, let's say you build up a stable of 30, 40 small business clients are paying you 100, 200 a month to manage your WordPress, what you'll do is you'll have administrative access so when the new WordPress comes on board, you'll check it, make sure everything's cool, make sure they don't make a mistake once in a while and updates, you know, like with Windows and iOS, sometimes certain updates suck. But you, your, your job as being the WordPress professional on retainer is to make sure that the WordPress is up to date. You know, so you'll log in, you update their WordPress, make sure their plugins are working well, et cetera, et cetera. They're paying you for peace of mind uh, and then also for the ability for them to be able to contact you every now and then to uh, answer questions and so on, do minimal amount of work. Anyway, you can learn all about that in my freelance course. Links below. Oh, by the way, well, that's it for now. Bye. A hosting company that's reputable are willing to pay for your web design training. Now, if you're going to get into web design or web development, you're going to have to learn hosting sooner than later. Why? Because a big part of being a web developer, a web designer, is to understand servers and hosting, the different options. So this web hosting company, they trust that you're going to stay with them, so they're willing to pay for your web design training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You buy one year worth of basic hosting, that's all you need to start with, and you'll get access to my full stack web development course for free. So it's a very, very good deal. This is something that they approached me with a little while ago, about a month ago. I put out a survey, about eight, 900 people responded. More than half said they would be really into this deal. In addition to buying the hosting to get your free web design training with my interactive training system, Studio Web. This is much, much, much better than simple video-based training. Video-based training is fine. 
Books are fine, but what Studio Web is a fully interactive, gamified training system with instant response, instant help, instant feedback, so you know exactly where you are all the time, plus huge amount of quizzing and code challenges. There's nothing like it out there. We built it from scratch. Now, you may be somebody who's already done my web development course and you want to maybe get into my freelancing and entrepreneur course. So what I will arrange, when you buy the web hosting from the company, you could either choose the web stack course or if you want, I'll create another package that you would get for free, the entrepreneur and freelancing course. Now, there you go. So you got a great option. So you want to get into web design development, have the web hosting company pay for you. You need to learn about web hosting anyway. Some of you may be asking, yeah, but I'm just starting out. I'm, I'm not going to need web hosting right away. With my course, within the first hour, you can start uploading your web pages to the live server to learn how to use a live server, understand domain names, all this kind of stuff. Consider it part of your training. Now remember, a lot of people will go to boot camps and pay five, ten, twenty thousand dollars to learn real world software development and web development and so on. This web hosting company is gonna pay for you. You just gotta buy one year worth of basic hosting from them. That's it. Now, on the other hand, if you already know your web design development and you're ready to monetize it to turn into either a business, freelancing, or maybe get a job, again, get the web hosting good way to promote yourself is to get a website up. Everybody should have a website, your own personal website. Remember, you can't just have a social media presence anymore because you see, you know, regardless of the politics, social media giants like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, if they don't like you, it can shut you down. So you have to have your own website. So if you're really interested in the entrepreneur and freelance course, I'll throw that in as a package. So you have two options. Get web hosting, get your web stack training, or get the web hosting and get your entrepreneur and the freelance course for free. They're going to pay for it. The company trusts that you're going to like their service so much that they're willing to pay for your training. All right. I hope you like this deal. Link below. Thanks. Bye-bye.